What's up guys? This is Feverish Pillow 9 and Hockey Pucker 123. This is the M4 RIS and it looks similar to the M16, but there is a slight difference. And that difference is that the M4 is not automatic. I repeat, it is not automatic. So don't be fooled when you buy it. So let's get to the parts of the gun. Okay. First we have the stock. It's adjustable like any other gun. You can put it to however range you want. I like it up close, up close and personal. And you just slide it on. Okay, our next part of the gun is going to be the reloader. Okay, the reloader is this part of the gun. To reload it, you just put your two fingers there and pull it back. And boom, shoot it. Okay guys, now next is the, the first sight right here. The sight, it's pretty good. It's not bad, but it's not amazing. And yeah, next we have the mag. And the mag, like if you're in an airsoft war and you run out of ammo for this for all these BBs, then what you do is you pull this down and you shake it and the PB and the BBs come pouring through. Now, how you how it do, happens is there's a chamber right here and the BBs go in it and you just pour the BBs in there and yeah, it's convenient. And the stock it holds up to 300 BBs, so that's useful. And how you release the stock is you just press this button. So, for instance. Okay. Now, over here is the accessory rail. And you can basically put anything on the accessory rail. You can't put that, like you can't put a billion things on it, but you can put stuff on it. It's pretty useful. Okay, so this gun came with the grip and a flashlight, but I put that on my shotgun. You'll see that in a future video. Um, you can adjust this grip to any place you want on the accessory rail. And this is a keychain. You can put keys on it so you don't lose it. And that's about it. Okay guys, uh, we hope you enjoyed the video. So. Please rate, comment, and subscribe for more. We're out.